Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us, and for this new figure unboxing and review, we're going to be looking at the Transformers Legacy Evolution Deluxe Class Shrapnel figure. So what we're going to do with this video, we're going to unbox him live in a second, have a look at the entire contents of the packaging. We're then going to have a detailed look at him in both of his modes to help you decide how you want to display him. We can have a look at how we can combine his weapons to do the Evo Fusion. We can then see how he looks and compares to his original Generation 1 self in both modes. We can then see how he looks and compares to some of the other versions we've had of him down the Generations toy line. And of course, more importantly, see how he looks and displays with some of the other updated versions of the Insecticons we've had recently as well. Okay, so as you can see, quite a bit to go through with this video. So as I pop these back out of the way, I'd like to remind anybody who's not subscribed to this channel, if they'd like to hit that subscribe button for me now, please, because it really will help me out. And I also need to thank In Demand Toys in the UK because, as you can see, they got this out to me nice and safely. Now, let's have a quick look at the box art as well because, again, these are spectacular. Now, I believe this might actually work. So if I hold that close enough for you, if you want to scan that QR code yourself, you should be able to see all his um, tech spec and details on him as well. So because we've got the robot in the front of the box, we've got the alternate mode there. And then on this side, we've got the full robot there and indeed the bus of his head there as well now we've got the legacy evolution artwork there at the one side and i'm just having a quick look to see if i've got any others hanging around where i can just make the picture up so now this would join up with another box um, and it would make the picture but unfortunately i've just on the ones that i've got here only make up um, that particular side which is a bit of a shame but oh well what I mean by that is I've got two core class figures here you can see you can do that so with some of the other figures you will be able to make them into a lovely picture of the official artwork right then let's get this guy out of the package now I choose just to open it from the bottom because it just means that I tend to not damage the box as much as I do taking it from the top I've probably just completely jinxed myself with this now. So yeah, these figures, um, I think they're really good to be fair. I haven't even opened this yet, but the Legacy Evolution um, is, I suppose, this decade's version of what Thrilling 30 was 10 years ago, obviously. Um, and it's brilliant because it's bringing all of the figures See what I mean about getting stuck? There we go. All of the figures from all of the toy lines together. Um, and of course, Generation 1 for me, I was very lucky enough to be a child during that time. So for me, Generation... That's spectacular. <laughs> that is so good. Um, was, um, yeah, it was, was a huge, huge part of my childhood. I had the original one of this um, as a child. So again, really excited to see this. Um, and it's really is a good, it's about time um you'll hear a lot of us g1ers as we're called say it's about time you know we had a proper deluxe size uh, set of insecticons and it looks like we've got that right let me take him out of the package and i'm going to come straight back to you okay so i've set him free from the packaging and for those of you who are new to the channel uh, you could probably tell already my first impression was really impressed with him but what i like to do with my videos is first impressions first then we'll have a look at him in his alternate mode before coming back again in his robot mode and seeing how he looks and displays and with all the other comparisons i've mentioned so yeah i've literally just set him free and i'm already sort of blown away by this guy it is exactly as i say what we've been asking for it's a deluxe size figure um you know nothing against third party companies it's it's not a masterpiece uh but it's just nice to have because up until now the reason why i was saying that is the only the companies that had done the larger sized insecticons were third party so we can see there that we've got the lovely head sculpt with the red eyes very cartoon accurate um, it does move there is articulation there again with all of my videos this is genuine first impressions i've not taken out the packaging i've not seen any videos on him and i'm just yeah doing exactly that so we've got the head spin which is good we've got shoulders side front bicep flexion twist is it in two places yes it's at the top of the shoulder and oh no it's not just at the top of the shoulder we do not have a wrist swivel as you can see that just popped out um, but at least you guys know as well. Um, again, you can see that's as honest as I am in all my reviews. Um, so it will fold in there, but only for transformation purposes. Uh, waist swivel, yes, very, very stiff. 
hips to the side to the front knee bend yes and indeed ankle tilt and rock so as you would expect complete range of it's very stiff that's what i've noticed straight away and as you can see the hand did go straight back in no problem whatsoever now we've got two mini accessories and we've got his main accessory and that's just another fantastic homage to the original figure there's the original gun but we'll see that in a bit more detail uh, later on so yeah first impressions you can already tell um i really like this guy right let's have a look at him in his alternate mode okay then we're back and he's already in his alternate mode and quick apologies for the transformation process on this video that's for a couple of reasons the main reason is to keep the main length of this video down but two with this being a brand new figure i don't want to spoil it for people who don't want it spoiling for them however if you do want to watch it it will be uploaded separately and i have to say it's absolutely brilliant it is just a brilliant homage back to the original generation one figure now he's not fully complete into his insect mode because the two blasters which come with him also this is so clever these double up as feet as well so the back hind legs which you can just attach into the five millimeter ports like so and there you go you can see it makes it look even better it's just so good it's just an exact look it's just an exact replica of this but obviously updated because obviously there you didn't and you couldn't fold the fists in but with this one they have brilliant i mean if you add the chrome it'd just be 110 percent you know it's so so good um let's just pop that there you can of course as well attach the normal standard blaster or indeed anybody's blasters that you wanted to to there via the five millimeter port um and that is of course the brilliant thing about this um e legacy evolution things and the fact that you can attach and build everything on these even the ports at the back i imagine you can get some fossilizer parts bring them up and over um it just looks so good let's just do this quickly once more showing you i suppose a the difference in size how much bigger it is and b how much of exactly that exactly what it is it's a beautiful homage to it it's so so clever everything sort of tucks away quite easily uh, what i will say though is funny enough i've just done a live stream um and everybody was saying how stiff this figure is and oh my days they're completely true that's one thing i will say to everybody to be aware of it is very very stiff um to move things around um i'm just trying to see i haven't got any others in this particular uh, mode because he didn't have many figures um there's not many versions of him at all but as you can see it does look really good it is a brilliant homage to this so what we're going to do now then we're going to come back for the final time with him in his robot mode to do some more display and comparisons okay then back for the final time with him in his robot mode just to quickly have a look what we can do with his accessories and how we can display them with them so again just a quick reminder the other transformation process is on a separate video so we've got all these weapons here and first and foremost if you don't want to combine them all again on the back of the forearms you can attach these out of the way if you wanted to and i suppose you could put them on the back of his legs as well but they wouldn't look as good you can also store the weapon by the looks of this yep in the back that looks a little bit interesting i don't think really i've seen anybody do that to be honest but of course it is his main blaster and you can just pop it in his hand like so now the interesting thing as well is uh this these parts i could see here being the bits that always get lost or come missing which of course is again an absolute brilliant um homage and trait down to the g1 as well um but otherwise yeah i love it i think it looks so so good the other thing as well is if you don't realize these parts here are independent to the rest of this so it's literally you can move these separately whereas before you couldn't at all right let's show you the evo fusion gimmick then the evo fusion gimmick is where you combine everything and again not just these you could add other weapons to it so i might have a go at doing that in a second so we can attach the one blaster at the back you could also attach blast effects to this as well if you wanted to and then you could pop one underneath and then which handle are they going to show it on okay i'm just trying to copy that there it looks like is it this one could be oh no it's a double one isn't it it's a double one so you'd put this in one hand and then that would come across underneath and be yep you'd be able to carry that in another again honestly all i'll, I'll just rewarn you guys this guy is stiff everything is very very stiff on him but there you go 
that looks all right that's exactly how they've got it in the picture um to be honest i don't think i'm going to be displaying him like that i'm going to just quickly see while i'm doing this what it does look like with them on the back does it hinder them do they get in the way i don't think that looks too bad in all honesty um they're pretty much hidden there if you wanted to so if you didn't even want if you didn't want to put them back in the box and you wanted to display them all out you could hide them there you could also by the looks of this you could really power him up and pop them in his shoulders just notice them five millimeter pegs that's quite interesting you could make him look like that as well however i think it's just going to be plain old simple standard and i'm going to put these back in the forearms and that's i think how i'm going to be displaying him to be honest nice and simple and again just a brilliant homage to this guy so for the final time i'm going to bring the original one in just so again you can see how good it is compared to it or how good a likeness it is shall we say even right down to the guns as i say if you look at the detail on the guns just amazing and we've got this other version and it's interesting as well and it's so much better he's got his name back this this is scrapnel and this is shrapnel and this is shrapnel which is brilliant it's so good he's got his name back there we are that's some of the other versions of him and now let's very quickly see um this is of course kickback the first of the deluxe ones that we've got this is going to look so great when we get bombshell next to him uh, but for now we're just going to have to put ransack next to him so it depends on how you're looking at it we've got three of the seven coming out or you've got two of the three so just thought we'd pop them there take them out of his arms to be honest just to give you a good look at these this is a great great addition to anybody's collection especially if you love the g1 they look amazing together let me know what you think in the comments guys definite definite must buy from me from this if you like g1 take care